Father, we are here to experience what happens when we connect our life with you. Thank you for doing that in so many ways. We'll do it again this morning. Amen. Tanya, come on up. Give Tanya a hand. She's also nervous. We're going to tell you a little story this morning. Um, November 28th, the uh, Saturday after Thanksgiving, uh, we had a bunch of uh, just sharing time. And Jessica talked about a journey that she's been on, a trial that she's been on with um, her back and a ruptured disc. A lot of pain that she's been in. And so after that service, um, the experience we believe, this simple thing that the Bible says to pray for people and anoint them, and that God will heal them. And so we take that seriously. And so we got together in the back room, in the prayer room, and it seems like there's a bunch of monitor of me coming through. I'm not sure what's going on. And we prayed. We got together to pray. Now, when you're dealing with prayer of this kind, this is a, a phrase that, that's been used called spiritual warfare. You're asking God to intervene in the life of someone, going against everything that may try to come against them uh, spiritually. And so when you do that, uh, at least when we do that at the experience, we talk about the significance of what we're about ready to do. And we talk about how um, if you want to see God move, that everyone that's in the room needs to be in a place of being transparent and clean before God and between other people. If Satan has the opportunity to have a foothold, he will be there, and you've given Satan the opportunity to put a wedge in what God wants to do. And we also spent some time kind of just in silent prayer, asking God as, as a body there, as a, as a spiritual family, saying, God, what is it that you want to do today? What is it that you want us to pray for? So we set, we set this up. We, we say, hey, this is what we're talking about. You need to get right with God. If there's anything you're holding on to that, that's between you and God, get rid of it. Or we respectfully, because we've all been there, we understand, you know, the times that you're just wrestling something out with God, step outside the room. If you've got something against somebody else, again, same thing, step outside the room. So we, we went into prayer. And um, I've never really had it happen quite the way that it happened this time. But several people left the room. Um, had people leave, like one and eight, but never uh, several. And, and Tanya was one of them. Tell us kind of what was going on with you during that prayer time. What was God saying? Well, when I was praying to him, I was asking him if, if there was anything that would stand in the way, and he actually told me yes. I was in the middle of reading some books on vampires. And I didn't want to hear that. <laughs> and I changed the subject. And he changed the subject back. <laughs> sure, you don't mean that, God. That's... And I changed the subject three times. And he kept bringing it back to that. And finally I said, okay, I get it. So, um, that was pretty profound. First of all, because God was speaking to you saying, here's something you need to deal with that you didn't really want to. Now, kind of for those books. Are you one of those reader kind of people that, like, you read and you kind of, like, like, I, I start reading, I can obsess. My wife can tell you, I can obsess into a book and just be like, I will finish this. This is a great book. I'll just keep reading and reading and reading a little bit. Yeah. Do you ever stop reading a book? No, not very often. I, in my lifetime, I can only remember a couple books that I put down because they, I didn't get into it. It was boring. So if I put a book down, um, it will bug me to go back to it and read it and finish it. Resolution. Must have resolution. What happens? <laughs> so so you went home. Deal what happened when you went outside? When you walked out of that room going, okay, I've got to deal with this with God. Where were you? What was well, actually, when I was still in there, I told him, um, okay, I need your help then. Because if I know the way I am as a reader, that if I put this book down, it's going to bug me. I'm going to want to know what, what happened. So I asked him to help me um, lose the desire to finish it. And he did. Amen. Wow. I have not wondered what happened in the book. And in fact, the book has actually gone back to its owner. Um, I don't desire to finish it. Praise Amen. God. Amen. And how, how have you been with God? How's your relationship with God been since then? It's been awesome. It's been awesome. 
That's good. Very cool. Thank you very much. Give her a big hand.